So I decided to watch Monkey Man instead of The Eclipse, and it was mm, okay. Monkey Man is written and directed and starring Dev Patel as John Wick 5. But seriously, this is a film about a man suffering from grief, trying to hunt down the man and the people who's responsible for it and making them pay. It's a revenge flick steeped in Hindu lore and mythology that served as a backbone to help set this film apart from the heaping mounds of this genre. First off, Patel's performances was great throughout, and this is a solid directorial debut. It showcases a lot of style, but there are some shortcomings as well. There's about 20 minutes of the film that could have been completely just left on the cutting room floor. The film feels repetitive, revisiting a lot of themes and flashbacks that begin to feel repetitive after a while. There's other themes and character moments that feel like throwaway or completely unexplored. Why show us a sequence of the mask only to immediately throw it away when you set up the scene later? That would have been a great reveal moment. Why try to build side characters only to discard them as the film goes on? There's an attempt here to build an emotional core to the film that just didn't come together. Patel's character is one dimension despite the performance. He's stricken with grief and that's pretty much the only thing we learn about him. Sure, I guess you could say, you know, grief has overcome him, but there's no sense of character outside of that and while the character does grow to overcome that grief throughout the film, it doesn't really feel satisfying as a character arc because we don't really get to know this character outside of the grief at all. Like, it would have been cool to explore some of the underground fighting or the underbelly of his living environment that could have added more depth to the character that could have been used in place of some of the dead ends and fat that this movie has. But the character can be weaker if the action's great, right? Well, there are some great moments. For the most part, the action isn't anything super special. Sure, it does go for some hard-hitting scenes and some brutal moments, but due to a shaky cam and quick cuts, the action at times feel incoherent, while at other times it feels like it's handled in a way to help kind of cover up some of the sloppy choreography. There are some moments that I honestly could not feel the connection, but rather only hearing the sound effect. That's not to say there aren't some good action moments. The better action scenes show a lot of promise and are very effective and the film is filled with a lot of action set pieces. You're bound to get some gold here. There are some striking moments, especially some harrowing scenes, but I just kind of kept feeling this emotional disconnect because of the absent core or exploration into an emotional core. Sure, it's sad his mummy's dead, but what about his mummy? What about his relationship with her? Like, we get some surface level things here, but nothing past that surface level. Let's move on to something I, I really enjoyed, and that was the score of the film. This is a great score that's a mixture of traditional sounding wood instruments and electronic music that gave the score a pretty unique style that honestly carried a lot of the tone of the scenes. This score helps elevate the film every time it's used, really pulling a lot of the weight. While Monkey Man is an ambitious film and it shows a lot of promise out of Dev Patel as a director and actor, I just wish we could have gotten more out of the characters without the filler and have some better shot action set pieces. Still, I think this is a solid film film worth a watch despite probably having more negative things to say about the film, but I'm glad I watched it and there is something here that could have been really great. I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. If you want to follow me for more reviews, you can press that subscribe button. And if you want to support me in what I do, you can also consider becoming a member or a Patreon. Thank you. Bye.